Yeah, okay, uh, Erd, amazing event today, amazing atmosphere. How do you feel? What are your initial thoughts on how the event went today? My initial thoughts are like, honestly, that I knew the event was going to go well because I would not have put anybody versus anybody if I didn't think it was going to bang. But honestly, my initial thoughts were like, fuck, even I've got to admit that was better than I thought it was going to be. Amazing. Like, I'm, I should really be saying, like, of course it was going to be amazing, but nah, genuinely, that was way, way better than it should have should have been or was even meant to be. So, That's I'm good. very happy with it. I got to say, you know, Don't Clock released uh, a schedule of upcoming events for the whole year. It's very yeah. ambitious to see how far in advance you're planning. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you feel like is your intention for building this year with Don't Clock? Yeah, man, like, it's... I think some people took me taking the first few months out as me like not being interested and wanting half a year off, but it's actually been the exact opposite. Like I might not tweet every single move I'm trying to make, but it was more like, let me sit out for three months and come back from April. And once we start in April, like you said, we're doing every month. And I could have, I could have stretched out 12 months and it could have been like, we've done it before certain tours where like one of the dates we kind of disrespect the city a little bit because they get three battles and it, it's just whack, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, I thought I'm ready from April onwards. I'm ready to commit to basically an event every month. So why not drop all the tickets at once? And people loved it. Like some have sold more than others. Like we have one in Bristol next week that did like 30 in advance just with no lineup. Then we have others we've dropped that have sold literally two. You know what I mean? So it's, it's more for me, what it is, yeah, I get a lot of emails from fans and I get tweets and when I meet fans, they're always like, yo, so what's going on this year? It's also like a convenience thing for me to be able to be like, bro, go on, don't flop tickets.com, you'll see the whole schedule for the year. That's getting stuck to, you know what I mean? So, and so far, like today, kicking off today, obviously, like, I just feel incredible about it. I feel absolutely incredible. Like, right, next week, next event is three weeks today. I'm just like, bro, can't wait. <laughs> like, can't so wait. So on top of that, um, there's no more training days, there's no more uh, development uh, system, yeah. but you still have, you had a bunch of uh, great performances from newcomers today. Um, how are you planning to evolve that system of, of, of bringing in new talent? Bro, that's a great question. Like honestly, let me answer it initially by saying how it used to be was no talent scouting was required. So someone like Dialect, right, had one of the best performances today. People don't understand Dialect tried out because Matter said, I've got a mate I know, can he try out? Basically, any tryout you think of, there's a legendary name. Quill, I still have if I want to find it, I have the email Quill sent. He applied, every legend applied. There's not a single battle legend that you know about. Um, actually, maybe apart from Tony D, we might have scouted Tony D and tried to get him involved. Mainly though, they all applied. I even remember that Quill's tryout videos, he had spiky, gelled hair like a fucking student and shit. Bro, this is how long we're going back. It's my interview. My, my hair was shaving. You're wrong. You're wrong. My hair was shaving. Anyway, it's, it's my interview. Don't get it wrong. But basically, that's what I'm saying. So the reason I say all that is to say that era is unfortunately dead. Like the era of checking entry at don'tflop.com and it being just a flurry of new emails is unfortunately long gone because anybody that was half decent that wanted to try out has now tried out do you know what i mean so finding new talent now is really difficult and takes a whole new approach if i'm being honest i do have an approach that i'm gonna start soon i don't really want to say it on camera yet because i, I don't want it to get stolen like everything else i just want to like give it a go first but i'm trying something new i'm trying new ways to scout talent because this idea of like, for example, I'll be totally honest, on our Instagram the other day, we put a thing saying, is there anybody in the Southampton region that wants to do battle rap? Now, back in the day, even when we had a quarter of the followers, if I put, name any city in the country, Newcastle, Leeds, Bristol, does anybody battle near these places? Bro, we would have had 25, 35 replies. But I'll be honest, I put this Southampton thing up the other day, we got one reply and it was a geezer from up north saying, well, I'm not near Southampton, but if you ever come to Preston, I'll battle. So that's an example of what I mean. The engagement just isn't there for new talent now. So we're just having to go out there and just really, as I said, maybe the best person we ever scouted was Tony D. I think that's what we've got to go back to. Messaging people in a simple way without giving it all away, just finding dope people that maybe actually 
have no idea battle rap exists, but they might have seen that one battle with the bald white geezer and the black guy with dread. Do you know what I mean? That's how a lot of people see battle rap. And it's like tapping into those people and being like, yo, do you want to give this thing called Don't Flop a Go? Because what can we continue doing? Like, if we wait another year, another two years, and all I'm doing is Instagram posts and this and that, bro, we're not going anywhere. There's going to be no new talent. You know what I'm saying? Instagram posts, this and that, though. Ooh, <laughs> Is that cool. what I said? Man, can't God damn. Um, Let's go. Shuffle T's going to trademark that tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah. But on, I would love it, honestly, man. Like, I, there's yeah. nothing I would want more than, say, like Black T today. Someone like Black T has had a couple battles. We just bring him on. He's a debut, but we know he's good enough to hang. There's just, he's kind of an anomaly though. There's not too many people though that haven't battled. I guess Reverse is the best example in the last couple of years of someone who, like the old school, I actually genuinely just got a text from Shuffle. I just got a text from Shuffle saying, I've got this guy I've been speaking to. I think he's good enough to hang, basically. So he's like coming in the old school method, but yeah. Hopefully within the next 12 to 24 months, man, we've tried these new methods of finding people and we, we desperately need him. And when I say we, I mean every battle rap leader in the country. We need very decent, skilled new battlers. Because give it another year, bro. Every single top tier will have battled every single top tier. And then where do we go? Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Leads me to my next question. Is, you know, Don't Flop, a legendary brand, important staple in the, the, um, the culture of battle rap and hip hop. Uh, but... Um, you know, how do you, as a as a promoter, cultivate and curate the community, which is sort of the engine of, of Don't Fly? Yeah, man, I think, for me, the community isn't as strong as it was. I think people like to talk like it is, but honestly, it's not. And I wouldn't say right now I am curating the community. I'm doing what I want to do, and if you want to be part of it, you're part of it. Like, that's not something like trying to sound edgy. That's honestly where I'm at right now. I gave years of my life to this kind of like metaphorical community that I don't really know who's part of it and who's not, yeah? For me right now, I'm not trying to cultivate a community. If you want to be part of Don't Flop, but like you were here today, everyone that was here today, all they've said to me is like, I felt part of something today. I'm glad I came today. Yo, like Danny Jack just said a minute ago, this was like, don't flop. I'm kind of chilling now, like, all right, bro, if you want to be part of this community, great, the door's open, there's no fucking entry requirements, do you know what I mean? Just don't be a prick. But it's like, I know what you mean. A few years ago, it was all about kind of like, we're a big family, it's this, it's that. It's like, if you buy the merch, you're one of us. It's like, nah, bro, that to me is dead now. Like, obviously, anyone who's up with my story of things that's happened over the last few years, you can imagine from my point of view, my kind of community spirit is eradicated. Because the things I've witnessed, it's like, well, fuck the community. What's the community done for me, bro? Like, what I'm doing with Don't Flop is what I want to do now. And as you can see, we had six top tier battles today. Everyone killed it. New, old, in the middle, you know what I'm saying? And it, I wasn't there running around being like, oh, we're all part of Don't Flop now. It's like, this is just battle rap. If you want to be here, the Don't Flop brand is never going to die. However much people keep trying to kill it, we're always going to be part of the community. But... Bro, I'm honestly not putting my effort in that. My effort is, and like I said, today's a perfect example. Look, just take today, right? I dropped the card for today. So much negative feedback. Why is it one round? That's some American shit. These should all be three rounds. Why is dialect blah, blah, blah. The same people hating, the same people chatting shit. So take that from my POV, yeah? Why would I care about cultivating that community, bro? What I care about is like people are, Who's the first person everyone associates with Don't Flop? Me. That's not arrogant, that's just how it is, right? So I'm cultivating what I'm trying to do. And this event today, bare people said it shouldn't happen, but I put it on because it was what I wanted to do with Battle Rap, and it was part of my calendar, do you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, big up in a bit. Um, and yeah, and, and, that's, and, and that's where I'm at, and it's like, maybe if you ask me this question again in a year's time, after this whole calendar event, I might be, you know, starry-eyed fucking teddy bears and, and whatever else. Right now, though, I'm very happy in my own lane. Um, I, I'll be honest, I'm going to get planned the next one round event tomorrow. And again, people can keep hating on the event. That's absolutely fine. But we had a lovely turnout today. Everyone was positive. It all just felt like, you know, being friendly, getting on. All the battlers killed it. No one fucked up. I'm, I'm feeling, what's the word? I'm feeling energized. I'm energized for event two. So again, like I said, maybe after the next events finish, maybe I might feel more like, oh, wow, it's the community. But unfortunately, let me be real, it feels a little bit us versus them right now. I never wanted that, I've never tried to make it us versus them. 
But that us versus them mentality is thriving because of social media, right? People love teams. People love teams. I don't give a fuck. This is what I'm saying, bro. I'm sorry if I'm letting the fans down saying this. I don't give a fuck about teams. I don't give a fuck about community. I give a fuck about don't flop. And whatever that entails is great. You can make of it what you will. You know what I mean? Word. Last question. You've got an electric champ right now with Yes, Quill. we have. He's a legend. Have a, uh, a legendary, historic two-on-two -two championship team. Does that mean we're gonna see some some big cards and some big names coming out yes. here? Yes, one hundred percent, man. Like, bro, the end of the year, the events institution. Like, I, I had to pick the name. I picked Fight and Talk last November because it felt appropriate, right? For now, institution. There's no other name for me that fits how I feel right now. Because this is what I'm saying, like, you can try remove us from the community. You can try remove me. You can try talk down about me. You can try say my events don't make sense. But we are an institution in this, bro. Like, so that's where November is heading. And it's like, yes, Quill, champion. He's on form like you never seen a battle on form. Confirmed for the event. Gemini, legend, killer. We're talking about people who rap in battles, a rapper. Confirmed. Shovel T and Marlo, of their own accord. Tweeting saying we, we, we desperately want to get back on the floor, we can't wait. Confirmed. Frankie Fraser, confirmed. Black T, confirmed. Like, reverse, confirmed. This is what I'm saying, bro. So, like, this year is going to be little slow things like today, just little ones dotted about, having a bit of fun, doing what you're trying to do. But, but the end of the year is all the heavy hitters coming back on one card. I, I've said this on record before, I hate two day events. I only do them when they're unavoidable but it might end up being two days because so many people want to get on the card. Because I'm saying, bro, I'm an institution out here. What we've made is an institution. Every battler who's part of this thing has made the Don't Flop brand an institution. And as I was talking to Frankie on the deck earlier, and he was like, bro, he was like, I've never battled on a birthday. But he was like, 15. He was like, you think I can't come on the 15th birthday? And Quill, I mean, you know that's a different story. And, and do you know what, going forward from that, I would love, do you know what, honestly I would love bro, yeah? I would love to get back to that thing where it's like four events a year where we're flying people out. Not just that one. I would love it. Checkpoint for my birthday in April. Little summer something, new event in summer. Birthday in November. Three, four times a year. New guests, new Americans that finally get passports, new Canadians. Australian, this, that, oh, bro, like, that's my dream. To get it back to that point where let's say, let's say someone like Lazy or Free Will, who like killed it today, they do a few more battles, kill it, keep killing it. I wanna have our bank account in the situation where I can go, lads, do you know what? You had a great 2023. Yo, do you want him? They'll be like, what the fuck, are you serious? Do you, yo, do you want him? Do you want him? Do you want him? That's what I wanna get into, do you know what I mean? Just big event after big event after big event. <laughs> Great start today. Trust me, bro. It's the fucking, uh, this is where the momentum starts. Yeah. Good shit. Sure. Respect. Good shit, man. Freestyle that shit. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope, man.